Hi everyone, this is our introductory video to the class. Um, I want to go over a few things just uh, where you can find things in our class Google Drive uh, and also uh, what you can do with setting up medium and, and making sure things are working fine just there. Um, so uh, to get started, if you log into our class Google Drive, uh, you'll be in this folder, our summer class Google Drive. This is where all of our class resources are housed uh, in weekly folders, weeks one through four. Um, we also have our syllabus right here, which uh, you'll need to open and read thoroughly um, so you know what's expected of you each week. At the end of that uh, file uh, is a long schedule of everything you'll need to do each week. It's just a checklist of things to go down, videos to watch, uh, lecturettes to play through or to read, uh, you know, readings, things like that. Um, so, you know, we pack a lot into the next four weeks, so you know, make sure you've read through the syllabus and that schedule uh, very closely. Uh, we also have all of our account logins or some uh, uh, of the software we use like Bengage that has paid accounts uh, that uh, instead of you paying for it, uh, we've given you a free login uh, that you'll use uh, to log into the software. So you can use the paid software for free. Um, and also, uh, we have this little class medium site addresses and Twitter handles. Um, once you set up your medium account and have your Twitter handle that you want to use for class, uh, this is due by Tuesday, second day of class. Put your name here, your medium address, and then your Twitter handle over here. Just keep typing it underneath uh, uh, the example I've typed here. Um, this is my medium page. Uh, medium's address, which I'll show you where to find it, is medium.com and then at uh, it almost looks like a Twitter handle, and then whatever you named your Medium account, whatever the label is for it, I named mine Mike Riley one um, So anyway, that's where you go in and find uh, or type that in after you've uh, completed that assignment. As I mentioned, our weekly folders have all of our assignments, so open up uh, week one. Um, it's the intro to the course. Uh, it has uh, some of our uh, little uh, slideshow lectures here that are pretty short. Has our assignments. There's a Google Trends assignment that's due the end of the first week. Uh, software you'll learn this semester. It's a good thing to add to your resume. Um, uh, our week one class schedule, which will be uh, match what we have in the schedule and the syllabus. Uh, writing tweets for this class, which is a quick read on you know how to write the tweet and structure it. Uh, because almost everything you'll post in this class, you'll be tweeting it out. Uh, to our class hashtag, uh, hashtag UIC digital. Um, so go ahead and open up the setting up a medium account. Um, this walks you through the steps of setting up medium and I'll walk you through some of these steps uh, uh, here uh, in just a minute on this video. It also has a little practice story at the end and keep in mind this is due at the end of class on Tuesday. Um, so, or at the end of class, uh, at 9, <laughs> 9 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Um, I'm used to saying at the end of class. Um, so uh, just go through these steps to set up Medium. It shows you how to embed things, and I'll walk you through some of this. This video that we've got, you've got playing right now is linked off here as well if you forget any of the steps. I've got an example down here of kind of what the uh, a Medium post should look like once it's all done. And here's your practice story. It gives you a headline. There's a photo in our Google Drive, too, that you'll post with this picture of Governor Pat Quinn. There's a cut line, editor's note, and then the story. And we give you some YouTube videos that you'll embed in there uh, as well. It's very easy to do. All you do is cut and paste the link into the little embed section uh, in the interface uh, on Medium. We switched from Medium uh, from WordPress uh, just because Medium's a little uh, uh, more techie friendly. Um, it, it's got a nice audience built into it. Uh, WordPress has become a little clunky to use, uh, so we're switching over uh, to Medium now. So this is um, what Medium looks like. If you just type in medium.com, you click on the green Get Started button, um, and you'll set up an account. Just ask for some basic information uh, and set up a, a, a name of your account, email address uh, that you'll use uh uh, with it as well as a password and then in the future you'll just click sign in uh, when you want to sign into it. So uh, once you're set up your medium you'll have uh, it'll ask you for a little icon too. You can put an emoji or a picture in there. Please put something in there. Uh, it just helps with your account uh, when you go to share it uh, and you can click on that little icon up there. Uh, you'll set up a free account. You don't need to upgrade to a paid account. Um, and to post something new you'll click on new story. Um, if you want to go back and uh, look over something maybe that you've uh, posted before, click on Stories. Um, you can also go to your profile and your settings if you need to change something. The sign out's right down here. Um, so I'll click on Profile. Um, and this is a, a post uh, that includes your 
uh, bio name and your photo. And please use your full name. Write a you know just a couple sentences maybe describing who you are, a photo or some type of emoji, and then it'll show you your most recent uh, posts right here. Um, and I've got one here. It's just a, a little uh, uh, example of uh, all the different types of things we do in data visits. So uh, worth opening up. You can access it off the front page of, of my Medium page. Um, so you can go in here and click on Stories. Let's say I wanted to go in and make a change to this story. Um, I would go and click there. It says No Drafts. But if you click over here on Publish, this little tab right here, it'll take you to stories that you've posted before. It tells you, too, it's kind of cool, how long it thinks it will take people to read your post uh, based on the number of words in it. You click the little arrow, the little carrot next to it. Um, click on Edit Story. And you go in here, and this is where I've typed my headline, my intro, and this is where uh, all of my posts are. They'll load here in a minute. Um, and you can embed videos, uh, maps. This is a Google My Map you'll do later this semester, story maps, images, all these types of different things that you can add to your post. Um, if I wanted to go in and change some text or something, you know, if I wanted to uh, delete this out, I could just uh, get rid of the ellipses and add the period and hit save and publish. So that's how you update uh, an existing post. But let's say you wanted to create a new post like you're going to have to do for your practice story. Um, very easy to do. Go ahead and go to new story. Click on up here under your photo and click on new story. And up here you just type in practice post and type some text in here. To add uh, a new text field, uh, you just hit return, um, and then more text or whatever you're going to add. Um, to add embeds, this is where it gets a little tricky. Um, you can click on the plus sign here, and it gives you a camera. Uh, it gives you a, a little video uh, player. You can add video this way. You can also add it as an embed. It's very easy. Um, and also add, add a new part. Parts we don't use an awful lot here. We use pretty much the embeds in the photos. Uh, and the videos just add those as an embeds as well. Um, so let's say I want to add an image. Um, if I wanted to grab a photo. Um, so I'll just click Add Image. And I'll go and find a photo off of my desktop. Let's see if I've got something out here. I'll put up the famous Hurricane Sandy Street Shark photo that I use in my trainings for fake news. Um, you can add a caption down here. Always mention the source, where it came from. I got this one off of Creative Commons. It's a uh, rights free photo. Um, so that's how you add a photo. Um, then I just hit return. On to the next thing. If I wanted to add uh, a video this time, I would click in here. It says paste a link to embed content from another site. Twitter, uh, YouTube, uh, uh, our various uh, graphics tools that we'll be using this semester, and so on and so on. So all I would do is go into YouTube, and I'll just grab the first uh, video I find here. It can be a little scary. Um, why not? Flying tricycle. And I'll grab this link up here. And then I will go back into Medium, paste the link in, hit return. Now, it might not show up right away, um, it, or it may just look like a little broken image in there. Once you publish it, just go in and check it and make sure it's OK. But this one did. It takes a minute. But always make sure you're not just going in and pasting it in there. You have to go to the embed section right here. Um, that's the key. I can embed graphics as well. This is my Google Flourish, which is what you'll be uh, working with in week three. Um, and let's say I want to embed this little uh, uh, animated graphic. You'll be building these in the not too distant future. I'll hit publish on it. Copy this link. Here's what it looks like on the live web. And Put it into the little embed section, hit return, give it a minute, and then my graphic should show up right in my post. Typically, you'll write you know, anywhere from 200 to 400 words with a post uh, and then add in the graphic or whatever you're working with. Once you're ready to go, uh, you'll just hit the Publish button. It'll ask you to add tags. 
um, you know, typically five to six keywords, you know, proper nouns, things like that, um, that uh, would appear in here uh, uh, with your post. And then hit publish. Now you can schedule them for later, but just uh, you know, hit publish now. And I'll delete this out in a little bit here. Publishing story, um, and it goes through, and it gives you this little interface. Copy story link, or you can do share with Twitter. Um, copy story link, and then you just go into your Twitter account, and you would write a little description um, of the story, um, a little teaser for it, uh, in that uh, handout that I have on writing tweets for this class. Uh, ha has that on it, then you paste your link in and then do the UIC digital hashtag. And I'm not going to send this, um, but there's the UIC digital hashtag right there. Um, so that's how you would do uh, your post. So um, that's really the process you'll use to, to post just about everything in this class uh, from here on out. Um, once you've copied the link and shared it, um, uh, please do go out and check your uh, uh, post. Uh, you can go back in on, on the live web. You can go to your profile page and see it there. It's listed right here. Um, you know, again, you can go in and I can edit the story from there as well. Or if I go back to where it says stories here, um, published, if I needed to go back in and edit it or open it up, I could do that. I'm actually going to delete this out because it's just gibberish. And there you go. Um, that is how you do uh, a medium post and really all you need to know uh, for setting things up for the first week. Again, make sure you play through these lectures. They're very important. You'll have a Google Trends assignment. I'll have a video for that uh, coming up. Um, there's a little lecture here on Google Trends and how to use it. Um, and then also uh, make sure you've read through the syllabus very closely and just gone down the checklist in the syllabus and the class schedule so you know what to do. So that's it for now. We'll see you in a little bit.